Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to create this beautiful recipe blog using Material UI in React. We will learn everything about Material UI grid where we will design this beautiful grid. So everything will be responsive and also after this video, you will be able to make your own components, design your own website, make your own details page and also give them some beautiful styles using React and CSS. And there will be also a React functionality to show the users this menu and mobile sizes. We will also learn how to use Google Fonts and I'll show you some more tricks to use Material UI cards in different formats. So this will be the same grid but with the simple tricks you will learn how to change the layout of them. And if you are completely beginner of Material UI, please follow the link in the description and watch my first video about Material UI where I have explained everything in detail. So after that, you will be able to follow this course much better. And in the next video, I'll show you how to create your own RESTful API using Django where we will cover everything about Django and create our RESTful API. And then we will be able to search here for recipes, fetch the recipes from a DB and also update them, create them. So you will learn a real life project using Django, React and Material UI. So I'll also cover everything about React Router and also how to use the API links and fetch them inside your React project. So there will be a lot to learn. So let's get started and start designing this beautiful UI. So I have already created the project folder for this blog and I call this MUI recipe blog. You can call it of course anything you want. Inside this I'll create another folder and call this UI inside which we will install our React app. So let's open a new terminal and navigate inside UI. Now inside this UI folder I'll create the React app so npx create React app and I'll put a dot here because I want to use the actual folder for this app so enter. Now until it installs the React app for us, let's go and see how to install Material UI. Now for this I'll go to browser and here I'll type MUI.com, get started and here inside installation you can copy one of these. So if you are using NPM, copy this one to install it and if you are using yarn, you can use yarn add. So I'll use the emotion one, so copy and I'll go back to VS Code and paste it here. Now press enter and it's installing. I'll be using also the material UI icons, so let's install them also. So from here, I'll copy this one, copy it and go back to VS Code. Now let's paste it here and press enter. So now it's installed, so let's go back and copy the robot of fonts from material UI. So I'll use this link of Google fonts. The robot of fonts is very famous and every website you'll find it. So I'll be using in this project also and here if I go inside UI we got a public folder here in index HTML we can paste it just here inside head so let's paste it here so now also let's clean that index.html file because we don't need many links from here for example this icon and also this team color I don't need it here and we also don't need this link here from logo. Let's remove this. These comments, all of them, we don't need them. And also let's remove this comment from here. And in instead of React app, let's call this recipe app like this. And we can save it now. So it's looking much small, we can use it later on very easily. Now let's also delete the unnecessary files here. For example, fav icon and those icons here, manifest JSON, robots. We don't need them because we are not using them in this website. 
and also inside the source folder let's delete some files here also so app.css and index.css app test logo and all those files we don't need them here anymore so let's remove them and there are some imports of those files so let's remove them from here to avoid the errors and i'll also just remove all the text from here and instead this i'll be using react fragment and here we can type hello world so like this let's just save it and also inside index.js we have to remove some files for example this index.css and we don't need this vitals here so let's remove everything from here now it's looking good so let's give it a try so now I'll say npm start and it should start and show us this hello world text and hello world is here so everything is working great so now let's start designing this blog by its navbar so for its navbar we'll need a logo some menu items here and also a text input for our search so let's see how to do this now for this i'll come back here in vs code inside our source folder as usual i'll create another folder and call this components so components here and for our navbar another folder so it will be navbar and inside this navbar we'll create our js file so it will be navbar.js here i'll type our fce and let's save this now here i'll import the app bar from material ui because we call app bar to nav bar in material ui so let's import this and guys if you are completely beginner of material ui please follow the link in the description and watch my first video in which i have explained everything in detail so after that you will be able to follow this tutorial much better now let's get started so I'll copy the apper and use it instead of this devs here and also inside the apper we need another component of material UI which is called toolbar. So as we need a flex direction for this navbar so let's add some extra CSS to this toolbar component. So here I'll type const styled toolbar because we are designing the toolbar so styled toolbar and it will be styled so let's import the styled from material ui and inside this we will type our component name and it must be also imported from material ui and after this we will just put the curly braces here and inside this curly braces we can define our own css so for this one i'll say the display of this should be flex and also justify contents justify content and this should be center and also i'll be using align items so i'll say align items and this should be also center now let's use this style toolbar so here let's paste this and i'll close it now here inside this we can define our boxes so the first box or dev will be the logo so for this we need typography because we use typography for all the text in material ui so here i'll say coding trait coding straight like this so let's add some props here so the variant of this will be like h4 and the color of this will be tomato like that and if we save it now let's import this also inside our app.js otherwise we won't be able to see that so let's do this now i'll say never it's imported now let's close this one and save it after say it's complaining that box is not imported so let's import the box here so box and it's working now let's go to browser we can see there's a beautiful navbar for us with some text here but let's just start designing this navbar so the first thing so let's add some props to this app bar. so the color of this 
will be like default and also I'll be using the position of this should be a sticky so position and the position of this I'll say sticky now I'll also add some elevation now elevation means to add some shadow for this navbar let me show you some example of that so I'll say elevation of this should be 4 now if we go back you can see we got this beautiful shadow here but in this project I won't be using this shadow so let's give it this elevation of 0 and if you go back you can see it has no shadows for this website and also as you see we got some padding here from HTML so let's just remove them also for this I'll go to index inside this here I'll say style so we will add some extra styling here now the styling I'll say for everything inside this HTML file so I'll be using the asterisk and inside this I'll say the padding of everything should be 0 percent and also I'll say a margin of 0 percent so we don't get any kind of padding or margin so percent and let's save this and if we go back now as you see everything is covered and there is no margin or padding great now let's take care of the menu now you go back to our navbar and here I'll make another box and call this menu box so of course we need to create this menu box because also here for menu items we need a display of flex so let's do it now I'll say const menu box and again is equals to styled and also here I'll say it's a box and let's add the CSS so I'll say the display of this should be like flex and also I'll give a gap here so there will be a, diff a good gap or good uh, padding between each items so the gap of this should be 30 and also I'll say the cursor of this should be like pointer cursor and this will be pointer let's save this now it's working so now instead of using the typography over and over again for every menu item let me create an area of items so we can map on it and this way uh, we will have a neat code here so for this I'll say const menu items or it's not menu box so menu items and it will be equal to an arrow inside which we will have some objects this object will have a key of name and the first name will be home and after this we'll give it also a link and this will give some link so for home we need the slash which returns to home so instead of facing your time let me paste some data here now I'll copy it and just paste it here so it's just the same way I'm using more objects here so it will be home recipes about us and subscribe now let's save this and after that we'll use its menu items so of course inside of this menu box let's just map on them so it will be menu items dot map not now map and here I'll say for each item do this for me so a fat array and inside this a parenthesis and here we can define our uh, component which we want to use over and over again so we will be using typography so let's use this one and inside this instead of this coding straight I'll be using that item so will be item dot and here you can find your keys so not link but I'm using the name of that item and let's give it a sizing of like body of 2 because it will be very big if we use h4 now the color of this should be default and I don't want to give it any extra color so let's save this and if we go back to browser we can see that the menu is here
but as you see they are attaching to each other the reason is here we haven't used the flex yet so for each box we will use the flex so I'll say flex and flex of one and also for this menu box I'll give it another flex and this will be also flex of one and if you go back you can see there's a good distance between them now the last one was the search so let's use the search box also now here I'll use another box and of course for this we need also a flex so let's give it on fly so flex one so in my last video I have used input base for this search input now in this video let me show you how to use the text field of material UI for this now let's go back to material UI and here we search for text field so text field here and as you see there are beautiful pre-designed text inputs which you can use for anything you want now for this search I'll be using the standard one so I'll just copy the standard one and go back to VS Code and paste it here so here instead of this standard label I'll just say it is search here and like this and the variant of this will be standard I don't need this ID so let's just remove it and instead of this I'll say the color and as we are using the tomato color everywhere so here I'll be using the warning color of material UI so let's save this and see how it's looking now if we go here a beautiful search here is available for us now it's not covering everything here so the reason is the display of this is block let's give it a display of flex so I'll go back here so I'll say SX and the display of this should be also let's say flex let's save it and if we go back everything is covered for us beautiful now we got this but in the small screens I want to hide this menu from here and also the search and show a drawer here like this one if I go to small screens and if someone clicks so they can see the menu is still here and navigate in this website and also they can search here so let's see how to do this now for this I'll go back to VS Code so here below this text field we'll import the hamburger menu or the menu icon from material UI so for this I'll go to material UI and from here I'll search for material UI icons so the icons are here now here we can search for menu of course you can use anything else if you want and click on this and just copy that and let's go back to VS Code and paste it just here now we can use this menu icon so let's copy this one and here I'll use it and I'll say paste and close it and as we display this menu icon just in the small screens so let's pass some SX here and say the display of this should be an extra small screens a display of flex or you can use block but in medium and above the display of this should be none so if we save it like this and go back to browser you can see there is no icon here but if we decrease the size of the browser you can see the icons here now let's make this also clickable now for here I'll say the cursor of this should be pointer so cursor and it will be like pointer now save this and also I don't want to display this text field inside the small screens so for this I'll put a condition here also for example I'll say an extra small screens and above the display of this should be none but from medium and above this display of this should be flex now if we save it and go back to browser you can see the input is gone now let's do the same thing for this menu also now for this I'll just copy this one and paste it inside our menu box so here I'll paste it there and if we go back it's gone now as you see the menu icon is centered but I want this right here 
So let's see how to do this. For this, as you see, the box in the flexes one. Now I'll put a condition here also and say in excess, the flex of this will be the last flex, which is 25. But in medium and larger and extra large extremes, the flex of this will be one. So let's save this. And if we go back, you can see it is aligned right side. Great. Now let's work on the functionality of this icon. So if someone click on this, we will show a menu here with a search box. And if someone click outside of that, then it should show just the post here. So let's see how to do this. So for the functionality of our menu, we'll use use state. So here I'll say const and I'll name it open menu. And again, We'll need set open menu also and this equal to use state and here the initial value of this will be false like this and let's copy this one so we can use it but before doing this let's see how the drawer of material UI works so I'll go back here and inside material UI we will search for drawer and here inside this, you can see all the examples of drawer. So you can open it from left, right, top, or bottom. We will be using the top one. So let's see how to do this. Now first, I'll just copy this drawer from here and paste it in VS Code. Now below the toolbar, I'll be using this here. So let's first import this, so like this. And also instead of this anchor here, we'll say top because we want to open this from top and also this open it's using the state but instead of this for now we will say just true so we can see the result of our um, drawer now the first thing on close let's just remove this for now we'll be using this later and also this list we don't need this but inside this I'll be using the list from material UI so here I'll import list from material UI so let's open this and inside this list we'll need some list item like this now list item from material UI it's also imported and let's close it and inside this I'll be using our map so instead of typing this again I'll just copy this one from here and paste it inside list item. And instead of this typography, I'll be using list item button. List item and it will be button from material UI. So they will get a form of button and will look much better. But here we also need to remove this typography. So let's save this and it's complaining because of we are not using open menu and set menu we'll use this later so for now let's go back and as you see the desired menu is here of course you can open this from left right or top or bottom whatever you want but for now for me it's fine like this so let's take care of the functionality here now instead of this open i'll use open menu and like this now let's take care of the on close also so i'll say on close and i'll give it a callback function here so it will be a fat arrow and it will use the set open menu to the opposite of the open menu so what it does if our set is false it will be true if the set is true it will be false so now at the moment as you see the state is here false so if someone click outside of this drawer it will close itself now also we'll need this callback function for our icon so let's just copy this inside this menu icon we'll paste it here but it will be on click not on close so here on click it should use the same functionality so it will set the open menu to the opposite of its value now let's save this and we got some error here because we are closing the menu icon and that's what we don't need 
So let's remove this and save it. And if we go back and decrease the size of the browser, so as you see, the icon is here. Now if we click on this, the menu is here. And we click outside of it, it's gone. So it will just play with our state. Perfect. Now also, let's bring the search input here. So for this, I'll go to drawer. And inside this, I'll put just this text field. So like this. I'll copy it and paste it here. But the variant of this, this time will be outlined. So let's just save this. And also the display of this in access should be flex. And also here, a none. So like this. And if we go back to browser and click this, you can see the search is here. So this way we can search everything without any problem. And also the navigation is very easy for users if they are using very small screens or bigger screens, it doesn't matter. Great. And as you see below our navbar, we got some header here. So let's create this one also. Now for this below this drawer, I'll create a box and I'll give it a display of flex. So for this, I'll say SX and the display of this should be flex. And also here I need the contents. So justify contents. It should be center. Justify content and let's make them center. And inside this, as we need text, so let's use the typography. Now, typography from material UI. And also here we need some styling. So the variant of the first one will be like H5. And also I'll give it a margin right of one. So margin right and it will be one. And inside this, let's paste this text from other website. So it's like that. And also we need the same typography again. So let's just copy this. And here instead of this margin right, I'll give it a color. And the color of this will be tomato. So color and this will be tomato. And also I want to give this a special font family. So let's use this also. Now here I'll say font family like this. Now let's find out this font family. For this we'll go to browser and here we search for Google fonts. Here and let's open this. So here there are many font designs which you can use for your blogs. But for now, I'm using the splash one. So let's search for this. And this is this one here. So now let's copy this link from here. That will be the last link here. And I'll copy this. And inside the VS Code in HTML, I'll just paste it here. Save it. And after this, let's see how to use it. So Google says you should write splash cursive so let's copy this one and we go back to browser inside navbar now we got here the font family and here we will put this here let's make them a string now like this and remove this comma also we don't need this and here i'll put a comma so let's save this and if we go back to browser you can see we got a new text here Let's use the same text for our logo. Now I'll go here and use this SX font family for our coding straight here. So I'll paste it just here and save it. And if we go back to browser, you can see it's looking better. Now here, as you see, we put this inside the app bar, so it's not looking good. So let's remove this from app bar and i'll go here and use this box so let's remove this from here and it will be outside of this app bar but we'll get some error because they are not covered so let's go here and here i'll use react fragment and i'll just copy the ending and let's paste it 
all the way down here. Now let's save it. And if we go back, you can see now it's looking much better. So now let's take care of our grid system where we will design this beautiful hero here. For this, we'll go back to VS Code and here inside this components, I'll make another folder and call this hero, not capital letter, but small. And also inside this, I'll create our JS file. So it will be hero.js. Of course, you can name it anything you want. So IFCE, let's save this one. And I'll also close this now for an index because we don't need them anymore. And let's import this hero below the navbar. So like this and hero and close it, save. And after this, we should be able to see this hero here. Yes, it's here. So now let's design it. But before designing our hero, let's understand how great system of material UI works. So here's a good explanation of material UI grid. So now pause the video and please read this documentation. So after that, you will be able to follow me and you'll understand everything much better. So for now, let's see the examples here. Now, as you see, the grids props define what they are. For example, the first one is here, the container. So it will be parent and all other grids inside this are items of this container. So for example, now if I say here the direction should be row, the direction of all these items will be row. If I say it's column, so they will be aligned column. Now this way works the material UI grid system. So for example, if I needed another container, I could make this the container and put another items inside it. So that way we can get the layout we want. Now let's see everything in action and you'll understand much better what I mean. So let's go back to VS Code and here instead of this dev, I'll be using the container because I want to give the hero some margin and padding from left and right. Now it's imported, so let's copy this and paste it here also. Now instead of this hero here, I'll be using grid. So let's import the grid. And as I said, the first grid will be container. Now let's close this. Inside this container, we will have another grid and which will be just an item. So like this. Now here I'll say test one and I'll just copy this and we'll say test two. So let's save this. And if we go back to browser, you can see the texts are here and the direction of this are row. So let's change the direction of them. And for this, I'll just come here inside this grid container and I'll say the direction and the direction of them I want to be column. And if I save this, and if you go back, you can see they are now column. So all the items follows what this container says. So this way we can define our grid also. Now before designing our grid system here, let's start styling our cards. So for this, inside this grid, I'll be using some card. Now instead of any box here, I'll be using styled card here. For example, you can name it anything you want. So let's take care of the styled card and I'll say here const styled card and this will be styled from material UI. So here and inside this, I'll say it will be a box. Now inside this box, we will define some CSS. So the first thing will be here, the display of this should be flex. Not like this, but like this here. Flex and as usual, the contents will be center. So justify content center. And here we also gave it a background repeat because we will use image here. So I'll say 
background repeat of this should be no repeat so and also we give it as a background position so background and the position of this and here I'll say the background position will be also center now background size we need so background size and this should be cover and also here I'll give it a height so the height of this card should be like 400 and let's save this now and we haven't imported the box so let's import the box because we are using this here now let's import this from material UI save this and everything should work as we want but inside this styled card I want to use an image so let's say here an SX and it will be background image now I'm not using the background image here inside this styled card because the image will be changed every time by each card so this way for each card we can have a different image so the background image here will be like this and I'll be using backtext because we are using some URL function here so I'll say URL and inside this I'll pass a dollar sign and curly braces now inside this we can pass some static images now for this website I already got some images so let me just drag and drop them here now we got all of these static images so they are some burgers some breakfast and all everything related to a recipe so now we go back inside this hero and here we'll import some image now with new versions of react we don't need this import react from react so let's remove this and instead of this i'll import my image here so it will be burger from and this is inside my source folder so let's find it there and it will be backslash and inside this is static here should be a burger one dot jpeg file let's save this we got some error of course we are not using this image yet so let's paste this here and as i see i got a typo here so let's remove this also it will be background image yes so let's save this one and as we go back to browser we can see the images here so let's start designing our grid system because that way we can see how the cards should look like and we can imagine everything much better so let's go back to VS Code and start designing now here first of all let's remove this grid from here and I'll copy this grid from here and paste it three times because we need four cards in our hero and now here we can use the breakpoints of material UI so as the grid is divided into 12 columns we will divide those columns into these four cards for example here we got four cards so 4 multiplied by 3 will be 12 so here I'll say in medium screens and above it should take three columns so this way I'll define this for each card so now for this one also here and also here so now we got 12 columns divided by 4 so 3 6 9 12 now let's save this and check if everything is working now it's looking column because the direction of our container is column so let's change this to row now I'll save it and if we go back you can see we got almost what we want now there's no spacing between them so let's give it some spacing here so now as the direction is row let's give them some column spacing like column spacing and the column spacing of all of them should be like 2 and if we go back you can see there is a good gap between each column perfect now let's see how to design this for other screen sizes 
Now, for example, if I decrease the size of this, it will be hidden. Now, the reason is, if in Material UI, you don't define any breakpoint for a screen, so it will just hide everything. I don't know why to do this, but it is as it is. So never forgot to define some breakpoint for each screen. Also, as alternative, you can also use just access, which means from extra small screens up to large screens, Material UI will take care of everything for you. So now let's remove this from here. So now here I'll say for access, which is extra small screens and small screens, it should take like a column of six. And if we copy this one for others also, then we will probably get the desired layout. Now let's save this. And if we go back to browser, you can see we got almost everything as we want. But now there's no spacing between the rows here. So let's give this also some spacing. Now I'll copy just this one and paste it here. But instead of column, I type here row and save it. And if we go back, you can see there's a column between these two rows. So now let me explain you what actually happens. So I'll increase the size of the browser. As you see, we got four rows. And here you can imagine all these as a container. And inside this container, we have defined that every great item of this container here should take three columns because the container has 12 columns. And here we got three columns for each great item. So now you may want to change the layout of all these cards here. Now let's see how to do this. I go here in medium sizes as we are in medium screen. So I'll say here the first one, the first grid should be five and the second I'll say it's seven. So these two alone will take 12 column. So for the rest, I'll say there will be six and here also six. So these two will get same size, but also cover the 12 columns. So let's save this. And if we go back, you can see we got another layout. So this easy it is to define the layouts and material UI. Now, what happens if we decrease the size? It will happen as we said. So let me decrease this more. So we have set here an excess, so extra small or small devices, it should take six column. So six column is given for the first grade, six column for the second grade. So together, they are 12 grade. And as there's no place for them anymore, so what Material UI does, it just send the cards below. And again, it apply the same sizing here. Here also we could change, make some changes. For example, here I'll say it will take a size of, for example, five. And the first one will be like seven, just like here, but vice versa. And here I'll say it should take five, but here again, I'll give it like seven. And if we go back, you can see we got the same design as here, just in another direction. So this way you can define any kind of layout you want. So for me, for this project, I just need them to be three and medium and large screens. So I'll give them just three but an extra small screens, so they should cover to six, so like this. Now let's save this, and if we go back, we got our desired layout here. Now this easy it is. And the reason I have explained everything two, three times, because it's very important guys to understand the grid system of Material UI if you want to use this for your projects. Because once you understand Material UI's grid system, the other components are really easy to learn.
So my goal in this course is also that you learn the material UI grid much better so that you can design your desired website as you want. And also in the back end of this website, you will learn a lot from me because soon I'll make the back end for this and also I will make a React app for this website. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. So now let's start designing our cards because we want them to look like this. And here we have some hover and also we need these titles here. So let's see how to do this. Now, first of all, I'll design the title here. So here inside this, we need a typography. But here I'll say style typography because we need some design here also for this. So I'll say style typography and just close this. Close this like this. And inside this, we type burger. So now let's take care of this typography. Now I'll go back here and I'll say const. And here I'll paste this typography. And it should be styled. And inside this, we'll say this is a typography. And now here we paste our CSS. So the first thing we need here is that the text align of this should be center. So like this. And also we define here a color. And the color of this I'll give it white because we will be using the background color of like tomato. And let's use this also. So background tomato and we will give it a font size. And the font size of this should be like 20. Now let's save this. And if we go back, you can see we got the same title. But there's a problem. As the typography covers everything here, so we can see its background color. And we have our text here. Now we could pass some padding here to bring this burger or this title down here. But the problem is there will still be the background all over here. Now let's solve this by covering this inside another box. So I'll go back to VS Code and here the style typography, I'll just cover this with another box. And I'll call this box just styled wrapper. So like this. And let's close it. And let's now cover this typography with this styled wrapper. And here, of course, we need to make this styled wrapper. So I'll say const styled wrapper like this, and it will be styled. And here we need just a box. And after this, <coughs> we define our CSS. Now the box will be a capital letter like this. And for this box, we just need some padding. So I'll give it a padding of top. So here it will be like 120%, like this. So let's save this. And if we go back, you can see the burger is here and there is no background color here because the wrapper box has no background color. If we give the wrapper a background color, it will show this also here. So with this trick, we can use our title just as we want. Now let's give this some width and also bring this a little bit down here. So now I'll say here like 140. And also let's define a width for this. And the width of this should be like 80% or yeah, something like this. And if we go back, you can see we got a beautiful title for us and we can use the same way for others also so let's do it so here I'll copy this one and paste it inside all of our cards like this also here in the last one we need one so let's save it and if we go back we can see there's beautiful title for every card available we will change the names later, but for now, let's take care of that hover. So for this, we will go to our styled card and we give this an hover. 
So here I'll say in hover, so in hover, and for this I'll apply some CSS, so opacity of this should be like 0 0.8, and also we'll give this some box sizing, so box sizing, and this will be just like border box. And also, I'll be using Z index so we can see everything on top. So I'll give it just one. And also, here let's give it some transition so we can see a good movement there. And for this, we need the back tag because we are using a function here, which is all. And I'll say here 0 0.45 second, and it should be ease just like this. Now save it and if we go back you can see we got this beautiful hover. But still the cursor is not pointer so let's do this also. Now I'll go back here and here I'll define cursor and it should be something like pointer. Like this and let's save this. And if we go back you can see everything looks as we want. So now let's change those images here and also these titles so we can see everything better. And also after that we'll take care of responsiveness of these titles because if we decrease the size of the screen now you can see the titles are way down here and that's what we don't want. And also we'll take care of these messages here. We'll align them center and over each other. So let's see how to do this. Now I'll go back to VS Code and here we need to import some more images. So instead of importing everything here again, I'll just paste some import here. So we got some drinks, burger and some meat and appetizer. So let's use this meat for the first one. So I'll paste it here and then the meat, the title will be here. Perfect. And also let's use this drinks and this one will be the last one and this here. So like this the burger will be the same but here we need this appetizer I think. Yes so let's copy this one and use it instead of this burger here so it will be appetizer like this. And if we save it and go back you can see everything is looking much better and beautiful. Now for the responsiveness of these cards or these titles, let's make them a little smaller so we can see everything. Now here, the first thing we need to make responsive is this styled card. So if we go top here and you can see in styled cards, we got a height of 400. Now if we go back to browser, you can see we can see all the images and small screens perfectly. So it's not a good user experience. That's why I'll make the height of them just like 200, so half of this. Now let's see how to do this. Now as we are inside a styled card or a component which we are styling, so here we can say like for example excess it should be 200 and also in medium sizes 400. This way it just works if we use this in line here but not inside of this styled cards. So let's see how to do this. So for that we will need the team from material UI. The team is responsible for everything you see here. For example, this default color of navbar or these breakpoints here and anything you can see. So let's see how to use teams inside this styled card here. So for this, first of all, after this component or styled box, we'll put like four parentheses here. And inside these parentheses, we will use some curly braces and inside that, I'll say team. And after that here, after the closing of 
this parenthesis here so here I'll say like a fat arrow so it will be a function and then inside this function we will cover all the CSS so for this let me remove this parenthesis from here and paste it just here so now everything is covered inside this function and now we are able to use the team now let's see how to use the team for this we will need some array here and inside this array we can say team and after that we can put a dot here and then we can define what we want to change and here I'll say break points so we want to change the breakpoints dot and here I'll say up so from medium up to large do this for me like this and now after this here I'll use a colon and after that we'll put the curly braces inside which we can define our CSS now let's put a comma here so we don't get this error so now I'll copy this or cut this height from here and bring it down here now like this so I'll say and team breakpoints from up from medium so it will cover the medium also the height of this card should be 400 now what for the excess so I'll copy this one again and paste it here so now I'll say down so below the medium sizes which are small and excess the height of these cards should be 200 now let's save this and see the result if we go back you can see we got all the images the way we want so they are smaller and they are looking beautiful now let's take care of these titles here so for titles we just need to change the padding here so the padding top it's 140 percent so on the smaller screens we'll be needing a much smaller padding from top so now we need again the team here so I'll use the parenthesis here inside this I'll put the curly braces and then I'll type team and after that here as I said we have to make this a function so let's remove this parenthesis from here and paste it at the end now we can use the same thing like this card from here so let's just copy this one and I don't want to type this because it's too much now let's go down and here instead of this or over this I'll put this here and let's copy this one and paste it here so and breakpoints up to medium the padding top should be 140 percent so in every medium screen large and extra large you will see this padding top for this cards now we can copy this again and here I'll say down below the medium sizes the padding top should be like 40% and not 140% like this let me save this and if we go back you can see that the titles are looking much better now if you make the screen smaller you can see even they center themselves and if we increase the sizes you can see it just move everything the way we want so in iPads it will look like this and small screens like mobile phones it will be like this and also and medium sizes just below the card so you can also change this for example if you want to use a specific padding here to make them center so you could go here and say here team dot breakpoints for example here you could say small and so down the small which is excess it should be 40 and down the medium it should be something like 80 percent so you would get the same experience you want but for me it's just fine like this so let's save this and take care of other things so now let's go and take care of this header from here 
Now for this, I'll go back to navbar and here below we got this box. So it has a display of flex and justify content of center. So let's put some condition here. So we'll change its flex direction in every screen. So for this, I'll say flex direction. So flex direction and it should be an axis. So small screens, I'll give it something like column and also in medium and above the direction of this should be row like this and also for this margin right let's give it some condition because i don't want margin right and excess screens so it should be margin right of zero but in medium and above i'll give it a margin right of one so let's save this and if we go back you can see it's over each other but the alignment is not center so i'll go here in typography i'll say align that should be center also for the other one we'll use the same thing so let's copy this one and inside this here i'll put this here save it and if we go back they are aligned center and they are looking much better perfect so now the next thing we need is this category list here so let's take care of this category now so now let's go to vs code and start designing our categories now for this i'll be needing another folder here so let's create this and it will be category lists like this and inside this category list we'll make our component and it will be category so category dot js and inside this let's create the react component and save it and after that we have to import this here inside the app so let's import this and i say it will be category like this and let's save it and after that if we go back we should see something like category perfect now let's go back and here inside the category we'll need the same card which we have used in hero so let's go inside hero and i'll just copy this one instead of typing everything again and again so let's copy this and i'll paste it here like this and here we need some more styling so for this i'll give it here for example also a border radius because we want this to look rounded so border radius and the border radius of this will be something like 100 percent because we want to take a great circle and we need the overflow so overflow of this will be hidden like this and we need to define a width for this so let's give it a width and the width is also like 100 percent or 100 pixel actually because if you use 100 percent then we can't take this rounded design there or rounded shape there so and that's it we don't need anything else here so let's import this title also because we need this style typography again so let's use this one also from here and i'll just copy this one and paste it below the styled card now here what we need is instead of this white color we will make the color black and remove the background color the size it's okay like that now here instead of this div let's use container so i'll import container from material ui and it's imported now let's use this here also and inside this we'll put our card so that was the styled card so let's use this here now i'll type here just a styled card and let's close it and inside this as always we need our image so it will be sx and i'll say background image so background not background position but i need background image here 
and we will use backtick because we are using the URL function. So URL and inside parenthesis. Now here we can put dollar and curly braces here. Now let's import some images here. Now for this, let's remove this react first. And also I'll say import and here I'll use the image of drink. So this will come from our static folder. So I'll go out of this folder here and go inside our source folder. And there we got the static. And now here there should be an image with the name of drinks.jpg. So like this. And let's use it for now to see the result. And I'll just paste it here. Now let's save it. And we got some error here because we haven't imported lots of things here. Now let's import them also. Now the first thing is here the styled and it will be from material UI. And also we need to import this box. So material UI box and what else we need typography. So let's go down here and import this typography. So this one from here and this imported. Now let's save it. And now the errors are gone, but we got a warning because we are not using this style typography yet. But let's see the result now. Now, as you see, there's an image and this is an oval shape. We'll take care of this. Don't worry for now. So let's go back and here I'll define inside this card or below this card because we don't need any text inside this. So let's remove this and close this here. And below this we'll use the style typography. Now let's go do this and style typography. And here I'll say drinks. So whatever category name we want to use, you can use it here. So let's save it and see how it's looking. Now it's here. And the problem is here, we are not using any kind of box to cover them inside. So let's make a box here, use this also. So I'll say here, const card box. Now it will be like this, and this should be a styled card. So styled. Now I'll use the box here again, and let's put our CSS inside it. Now here we will say the display of this box should be flex like this and also justify content as always it will be center so center and also the flex direction will be column because we want to show them as a column. So let's say here now the flex direction and it will be um, not center but it should be column like this column and now let's use this card box but let's make this one capital letter so like that and here control v and it's here now let's cover all of them inside it so like this here now save and if we go back you can see it's looking much better so let's take care of this problem of this long image here. And if we go back, as you see the size or the height of these uh, images are 400 and that's too much for our cards. So I'll give it just 100. Also for this, I'll say 100 because we need this 100 in all the screens. So let's just save it. And if we go back, you can see there's a beautiful card available for us. So let's take care of the grid of this. So we'll go back to VS Code and here inside this container. Now instead of this container, we will use a stack here because we need a one dimensional grid. So we'll use the stack for this. Now let's copy this one and paste it here also. So we'll pass some props inside this stack. First of all, it should be a container. And the second one will be the direction of this should be row because we want to show them as a row and also what else we need is like margin top because it will look much better if we get some margin from top here and also let's give it some spacing between all the cards 
so the spacing here will be like 4 and let's give it a margin left also so they get a little distance between each other so I'll give it here 2 or maybe 3 so let's save it and see how it is looking and it's aligned as we want so let's go back and make some more of them so I'll copy this one and paste it many times here like this and save it and as we go back you can see there are lots of them but let's do it some more because I want to see this overflow here and I show you how to solve it now as you see we are getting more images and it's going here and I don't want to use this scroll bar here but instead of this we should see some scroll bar here so the users can scroll here and not from here because that's not what I want so let's see how to do this now for this I'll go back here inside this stack yeah inside this here now we'll pass some CSS here so it's X and here I'll say overflow and the overflow of this should be auto and not hidden so this way we can see there's a scroll bar there so if we go back as you see we got a scroll bar here and this one from below is gone now it's looking beautiful now as you see there are too much and i don't want to use too many of them here so i limit this like one two three four five six seven eight nine maybe 9 is enough because then it will look or let's give it 10 now I'll go back and let's remove some of them so I think we got 12 so let's remove two of them from here and save it I deleted something else also here okay this one's also here so let's use it and it's looking better but let's remove one more and this one I think so like this and if we go back now it's looking much better but as you see it's not aligned center and below this card it's because we are using the category as a separate container so let's put all these categories inside this container and not inside app so let's go back and here instead of importing this inside app.js so let's remove this from here and I'll use this import for our hero so I'll go back here inside hero so we, we need to import this here just below this grid I'll say here now category and it's imported now let's save it and as we go back we can see there's a good result available for us now it's looking much better but I'll delete one of these images because I don't want to see this scroll bar inside the medium and larger screens so for this I'll go back here inside our category and let's remove one card from here now let's save it and if we go back there's no scrolling but as we decrease the size of the browser the scroll bar is here so the users can still see our categories so now let's change the images from them and also as you see our logo is not aligned center let's take care of this also and let's make it full screen and also here I see there's no padding so it's not looking good let's take care of everything from there also so let's go back to navbar and first of all will be our logo and here we don't need anything else but here inside this so here I'll say text align and then I'll put a condition here so for excess and small the display of this or the alignment of this should be center but for medium and larger screens we need this again as left so let's do this and save it and after that we said we need some padding here so inside this typography here now let's give it some padding also I'll say a padding and it should be a padding of one and 
that should be enough so let's go back and you can see there's a good space between them and as we decrease the size of the browser it's also aligned centered and we got our categories as we want now we can change the images also and for the category images i'll paste some code here because i don't want to waste your time i'll just paste them here and also for our imports i got some cards here so they're already copied and we don't need to type them over and over again and this will take lots of time here so i'll just copy everything here and paste the new one so what i did is i just add the pictures here and also change the name and nothing special now let's save this and as we go back you can see the images are here and it's looking pretty nice but as you see we got some sc the scroll bar again here and the reason is because we gave it here the spacing of 4 let's decrease this to 3 and see if we get rid of it and yes now our category is all looking as we want perfect so now let's see what's next as next we got this latest recipes where we will use some cards from material ui and also there will be a right bar so first of all let's make this layout for these two and also after this i'll show you how to use these cards here but changing the layout of them like this so let's get started for this we'll go back to vs code and here inside components i'll create another folder and call this main and this should be lowercase because it's a folder so like this and make the file and here i'll say this main.js inside main.js we need of course our react component and let's remove this react from here so let's instead of wasting the time import everything here so the first thing what we need is a stack because we need a one dimensional layout again and this will be for two things the first will be our cards here so i'll call this posts and let's close it and then later we will create the component and the second will be our right bar here so right bar like this and let's just save it now let's give this tag some props the first will be the direction direction of this should be row because we need them as a row and we'll need some spacing here so the first spacing will be just like one and this should be as equal to and also here we need some margin top so we get a good margin from the top now here i'll give it something like three from the top and also let's make some boxes for these two here now the first box will be for the posts so i'll give it a flex of three now let's give it a flex and the flex of this should be three now again i have used the question mark but let's just copy this one and paste it again and here i'll give it one so because for right bar we don't need too much place so like this and let's paste the right bar also here so the right bar we don't need an extra small screens or small screens so i'll be using here excess of none and in medium and larger screens then the display of this will be something like block or flex whatever you want okay like this and we don't need anything else here so let's create these posts and right bar here so we will make another folder for posts here so posts and inside this i'll create a new file and call this posts.js and also we'll be needing a card for these posts here so let's create this also so i'll say card dot js like this and let's create the right bar also here so new folder and this should be right bar right bar 
and we will make the component inside this. So this will be right bar dot js dot js. So now let's take care of our posts component. So here I'll say rlce and make the react component and here I'll use box. So I want to wrap everything inside the box like this. And inside this, we will need some text for our recipe. So I'll use typography here. Now it's imported from material UI. And we need some variant here. So the variant of this typography will be something like H4. And I'll align this center like this. And let's give it some text here. So I'll say latest recipes. You can give anything you want. And below this, then we will use our grid system. So let's import the grid also from Material UI. It's imported. And also here we need some props. So the first one will be container because the first grid should be container. And now let's give it some column spacing also. So I'll say column spacing like this. And the column spacing should be different and different devices. So I'll say here in excess, it should be zero. But in small and medium, I'll give it some spacing of like one. So here also one. And then we need, of course, the direction. So let's give it some direction. The direction of this should be column like this. And let's just close it. And inside this, then you need our items. So the first one will be grid. And then it should be an item. So we can align them the way we want. Now here I'll put excess because I don't want to give it a specific breakpoint here. So the material UI will take care of all responsiveness for this card. Like this. Now let's close it. And inside this we will put then our post card which is not yet ready. But let's say here card and save it. Now I'll copy this multiple times to see the result if everything is working for us like this. And also inside our main.js we have imported posts, but main.js is not imported inside our app.js. So we can't see the result if we don't do this. So let's import this also here. Now here I'll say main and just import this and let's close it. And after that, if we save this and go back to browser, as you see, we see a blank page here. Now it's good to see such errors because in material UI, you may see lots of time blank pages like this. Now the reason is here. And for me, if I go to main.js inside this right bar, now the right bar is not a component yet. We have imported this, but if we go back to right bar inside the right bar.js, you can see there is no component which is exported. Now I'll say this RFCA. So now it's a component and it's exported. So if we go back to browser, you can see that our text, our title is here, and also those cards are also available here. And the right bar also. Now if you see such blank pages inside your material UI. So please go back to your code and see if everything is exported and also it's imported from their real path. For example, if you try to import this styled from material UI system or emotions, then you will see also a blank page like that. With that being said, now let's design our cards here. Now I'll say RFCE and here we will create our card. So first of all, I'll need here a link because if someone click on this card, they should be clickable and also they should route us to some place. Now let's close this link here. And for the link, I'll give it some CSS. So SXS equal to and I'll say text decoration. So text decoration of this should be none because I don't want this that underline and also I don't want that blue color. So the text decoration will be none. And also we need an href here. So I'll say here for example now just hash and later on we will make that href also. And inside this now I'll create a box. 
so box let's import this also and close it for the box i'll just need a margin top so we get a margin from each card inside our project so here i'll say margin top of three but instead of covering everything inside link let me cover this link also inside this box so we can get that margin from the top so like this and inside this link i'll make everything about this card now here let me import the card so it will be imported from material ui now the card area no we need the card now there's also another problem we have named our card component just like card of material ui that's why we are not able to import this anymore so always remember if you got a component inside material ui so please rename your own component otherwise you will get error and you won't be able to import this and even if you import this manually you will get some error so i say here not cards but posts card like this now let's change the name also here so rename this and like this and everything is looking good now but we need to import this card here now you can see we can import this from material ui and it's imported here great now let's close this card and inside this card we will need another box where we will put our uh, direction for everything so i'll make some box here and let's close this box and inside this box i'll say some css so and here we'll define how should be the display of this so the display as always it should be flex like this and we will define other things also but for now we need also the flex direction so flex direction and this should be something like row so we want everything to look vertically and not horizontally great now inside this box we need also the card media from material ui where we put our image so card media let's import this and it's a self-closing so let's close it like this now if you are not familiar with material ui card if you go back to browser and type mui.com you can search here for card so like this and here you will get a lots of examples of material ui cards which you can just from source code copy it and paste it inside your project and as you see there's a card and inside there's a card media and we got some card content inside which we have put our text so the same thing is what i'm doing here now let's go back and inside this we define some props the first thing will be the component and i'll say the component of this will be an image and then we can define height also so height of this will be equal to 300 and let's close this also and what else we need we need of course the image so our image will be here now let's give it image but inside the image i'll be using curly braces because we use a static image here like this and what else we need we can also add some alt so if our image is not there so the user could see some text here and also if someone just hear our website so for people who can't see everything they hear the website so that way they will understand what is which images there inside this website so i'll say there's a burger image burger image like this now let's pass some css also here now for this i'll say sx and pass some css the first thing for css the width will be here and the width of this i'll say it should be something like 400 pixels because i don't want to give it a big image here so 400 pixel the cursor of this should be something like pointer so cursor 
and this should be a pointer and let me put a comma here so we get no error and also let me give it some hover so i'll say n hover and n it's hover and we can define the same hover we defined for other cards so we see no different between every card here now i'll say inside this n hover also here we need a comma i always forget the commas here so inside this i'll say the opacity of this should be something like it was 0 0.8 i think and also let's give it a box sizing so box sizing and the box sizing of this should be border box like this and also here we need some z index so z index of this should be one and then we need transition of course so transition transition like this and also here we need the backticks again so inside the backticks we can define our function so all and that will be 0 0.50 i think here and also let's make this is and that's it i think so we need to import an image here so let's remove this react from here instead of this let's import an image so i said let's import the burger here and this will be from our static folder so outside of the source and inside the static and here i'll say burger dot jpeg like this now let's use this image also here perfect now it's looking good but before starting to work on our card content like titles etc let's see how it is looking now i'll save it here and then import this inside my posts.js let's remove all this also so we get everything clear here now this right bar also like this and inside this instead of this card text let's import this posts card so posts card is imported and let's close it like this and i'll copy this one and paste it twice just for this one and this one here now let's save it and now there's a warning it's saying card area is imported but not using this is this one here so let's remove it and after this we got some error also unreachable card and post postcard so there's something wrong oh we need the parentheses here so in return now we have forgot to use this or honey how i have delete this so let's put them there and now if we save it it's working so let's go back to browser as you see we got our image and also the card here but the card content is missing so let's import the card content also and also the image will be here burger one which is a little better than this one so let's go and start designing our card content so here i'll import the card content from material ui so it will be card content and let's close this one now card content basically gave this some margin and some padding and so this way the card will look just like a card and everything looks beautiful inside a card and inside this we will have some typography of course we need some text so typography and inside this typography you can write anything i'll say yummy burger whatever you call this so and also and we need some more typography so but let's give them some props before this now here i'll say gutter bottom so this will remove all the bottom margin padding so let's remove this one also and then we need the variant the variant of this will be something like h4 because it's a title and also align this center like this and that's enough i think for this one now let's save it and as you see as i press the save or Control s so everything starts looking pretty here and the reason is because i'm using the prettier extension of vs code 
So here, if you don't have it yet, so let's go here and search for, pre for prettier. So this is code formatting and you have to install this one. And after installing, if you got anything here, for example, if you have some spaces here and you have something which is not orderly, and if you save it, everything gets cleaned for you. So this way you will save a lot of time. So now for this, I'll paste some text from material UI card because I don't want to waste the time here. And in the back end, we will take care of all these titles, cards, and images, and etc. So in the backend tutorial, you will also learn how to implement everything from API inside a React project for implementing API and React. With that being said, now let's get the card actions also because we need some share and also some learn more action so i'll paste them also here and these are also from material ui so you'll get something like card actions where you can put your buttons so you have to import them also and after that you will get everything as you want and also i have given them some color of tomato you can use any color you want and also the icon size you can change from large to small and etc now let's save this and go back to browser now there's something called actions we haven't imported. So let's import this again like this. And if we go back, you can see the cards are looking beautiful. But as you see, it's attaching itself just in the corner in the left side. And that's what we don't want. I want this to look like a container. So let's go to VS Code back and there uh, search for the main where we can cover everything inside that container so instead of this stack here i'll say it will be a container like this so container and let's close this one and remove it from here paste it here save and the container is not imported so let's import this one and material ui save it if you go back you can see everything is now looking much better if i click it comes here in the top because we have put for the link just this hash here later we will change that so don't worry about this now let's take care of the right bar here so for this i'll go back to vs code and inside this i'll go to right bar so here we just need a box at the first so i'll say box and import this from material ui and let's close the card and here i'll just give it some padding so let's say sx and inside this i'll say the padding and the padding of this from everywhere should be just two and also inside this right bar here i'll use some typography for our text so typography and like this and the variant of this should be variant of for example h4 or h5 h5 will be also good so a line will be center like this and i'll also give it a margin top from so margin top of five so it will get a good margin from this box now let's save it and here inside this i'll say hey i am like shakira so if you can call it anything you want i'm just using for demo like this and again we need a card media here for the image of this shakira so let's just use the postcards media here also i'll be using this one and card media just copy this and paste it here now we need this import image also so like this copy it and paste it here instead of this react and the image will be here the chef so chef and there should be a chef.jpg picture and let's use this inside the media now here and after this we get some information about this image or this person so i'll paste them they are just some typographies because i don't want to waste your time now it's nothing special it's just a typography it's i think already imported and a line of this will be left the variant will be body one and also there will be some text and the second one is with some more text 
and also an href where you can click to read more about this person so let's save this and we got some error because of card media so let's import this one also and let's save it and also we got some warning here and the reason is this href because we are not using any link here so that's why it's saying like that so let me put some link so i'll say it's google.com and as we save it the error is gone like that and if we go back you can see there's a beautiful image for us where we can click on this read more to read more about this chef now let's go back and see about other text or other components here now after this i'll be using a card here so we can use for example this card for some ads inside this block now i'll say card and give it some sx here and this will be just a height here because i don't want this too long so the height of this should be just not 220 but 200 pixels and also let's give it a margin top so we get a margin from this text from top so like margin top margin top and here i'll say the margin top of this should be like two and let's close this now and inside this we will say use some typography just like that and i'll say adds here like this and let me align this also center so align and this should be something like center and the variant of this will be also small text so it will be a body one and that's it i think we don't need anything else here but below this card we need also for our subscription some text so let's say here typography and inside this also i'll say subscribe and this should be via email and after this we will be using some box here because we want to use some text field again so let's use that and i'll say box and it's imported already so inside this box i'll be using the text field as we used for search so text field text field it's imported now now let's close this one and also for this text field let me give some props the first one will be label which will shown inside this text input so it's like a placeholder and i'll say here like something your email here your email here and like this and the variant of this should be standard you can use of course outline or whatever you want but for me standard is i think the best one and then we need the color so i'll say the color of this should be something like warning like this and also we need some sx for this box because we have no padding from the left so let's give this a padding left of 10 like this and that's it i think let's see what's our result and if we come back you can see we got some subscribe via email and also there's an input here where the users can just pass their email address so now here let's create a button so if a user clicks on it it should send us an email so let's see how to do this now for this below this text field i'll use the button icon from material ui so it will be icon button not button icon icon button like this and we just close this so here inside this icon button if we use an icon it will look like a button so i'll put the button icon here so it will be send icon from material ui icons so let's import this now i'll go here and i'll say import and it will be send the name is send but i'll import it as send icon and this should come from material ui icons so material ui icons now let's pass some sx to this because i want to give it a color of tomato 
so let's do this and the color of this should be like tomato and tomato save it and if we go back you can see there's a beautiful button and it's looking much better but the title here it's not looking good so let's take care of this also now i'll go just here and decide the subscribe now i'll say this should be aligned center so aligned center and also i'll give it a color of this should be something like white like this and also i'll need a bg color so a background color and the background color of this should be also tomato and also let's give it some margin top and it will be two and for now i think that's it so let's save it and if we go back now it's looking much better and below this input let's put some more ads here so i'll go back to vs code and here i'll just copy this card from here copy and i'll paste it below this box like this and if we go back there's some more ad here perfect now let's take care of the responsiveness of this blog so if we decrease the size of the browser now as you see it's not responsive so let's see what's the problem the first thing we should see is inside main js and here the display of this right bar should be none so i said sx oh i got a typo here so the display of this should be none and this is not sx it should be xs so a small screen and extra small screen the display of this will be none and medium and also large and extra large the display of this will be block if we save this and go back now so now if we decrease the size of the browser as you see the right bar is gone but our cards are still not responsive so let's take care of them and for that i'll go back here and inside the postcard we have to make some changes so here we say the display of this should be flex but now let's put some condition here so here i'll say the display of this box and extra small devices should be block but in others it should be flex so let's do this i'll say display of this and small access this should be block like this and let's close this and comma and here i'll say medium devices and above it should be flex now if we save this and go back to browser you can see everything is aligned for us as we want perfect now if we increase the size you can see they got their layout as it is so now let's take care of the most popular post here so for this i'll go back to vs code and here inside our post component and below this grid i'll use some typography here now let me paste some code here instead of typing everything so the variant of this typography will be h4 and the background color of this black and a color of white and the text alignment will be center also give the some margin top and some margin bottom let's save this and go back to browser you can see a beautiful title is here now below this we will show our cards also so for the cards also i need the same grid so let's just copy this and we will make some changes inside this so from container so i'll copy this one and paste it below this typography now the changes will be like this first of all here for the breakpoints i'll say in medium sizes it should take six columns and also the same way i use for small screens so i'll say it should cover six columns now let's copy this one and paste to other grids also so i'll paste it once here instead of this excess and once more here like this now if we save it and go back you can see we got the same cards as the above but i don't want to show these cards like the above cards but i'll change the layout of them from 
horizontal to vertical. So let's see how to do this. Now for this, first of all, I'll change the direction here and I'll say it's a row. And if we save it and if we go back, you can see now we got another direction, but the texts are not looking good. And the reason of this is because we are using for postcards the direction of flicks. So let's go inside our postcard component and solve this problem. For this, I'll go back to display and here I'll make some changes. Now the changes will be like I'll be using a prop here instead of showing the display of flicks for everything. So now here I put the back text so we can use our prop here. So I'll put here a dollar sign and inside this a curly braces. Now inside these curly braces we put our prop. So I'll say my direction. You can call it anything you want but I'll say just like this and put this here so that we get access to these props. Now save it and we go back to our post. Now here as we got the prop so less access to this prop now my directions here and here instead of the direction of flex I'll say the direction of this should be something like block. So let's copy this and use this for other cards also. So I'll paste it here and once here and let's save it. And if we go back you can see the cards are looking as we want. But if we scroll up you can see our last cards are not looking good. So let's take care of this also and I'll go back to VS Code. Now here inside these cards also let's give them some direction. Now here instead of block I'll say the direction of them should be flex like this and here also. Now let's save it and if we go back you can see everything is looking as we want. Now if we decrease the size of the browser you can see everything looks as we want. But if we use this inside a screen of small size, there will be a problem. So like this. Now as you see, the display is here not good because we said in the smaller screens in excess, the display of this should be block. But here we need this display also as flex. So let's see how to solve this. Now I'll go back to postcard and I'll use the same thing for a small screens also. So here I'll paste it again and instead of this uh, medium I'll say small and let's put a comma here and let's save it. Now if we go back to browser as you see it's looking much better now. And also here, there's no problem anymore. So like this, we can get two directions with the same grid system. So it will be vertical and also horizontal. So there's no problem for that. Now let's make it full screen and everything is looking as we want. So now let's go and take care of our footer. And below this, let's give some pagination so it will look much better. Now for this we go to material UI and here we search for pagination like this and there are many examples of paginations how you can use it but I'll just copy the first one here and paste it inside our project. Now it will be below our post just here now below this grids I'll paste it just here and let's import this so like this and let's save this and if we go back you can see the pagination is here for us but now the problem is it's not centered so let's see how to bring the center so for this we can use flex and also the stack from material UI so let me use the stack here and I'll say stack and close it Inside this stack, let me put the pagination here, so like this. And now I'll give it some props. So the first one will be the spacing, and let's give it some spacing of two, and also margin top, 
so it get a margin from the cards also so the margin card of for example three or four whatever you want and let's give it some margin bottom so it get a margin from our footer also and here i'll say it should be three and also i'll say justify content and this should be center like this and let's save this i think it's enough if we go back you can see it's still not aligned so we need to align the items also so i'll go back and say align items like this and the align items should be also center now let's save this and if you go back you can see now it's aligned center and it's looking beautiful the way we want you can also change the color of this by using some props on this so if you go way down here and you can see the pagination and there are all the available props so you can change the count you can change the color you can use the default page and anything you want to use from them now here i'll say the color so let me give it some color and i'll say the color of this should be something like warning so let's see if it is available for us now i'll save it and if i go back now as you see there is a beautiful tomato color or a warning color for us perfect now let's take care of our footer here so for this i'll go back to vs code and inside this components folder i'll create another folder and call this footer so it will be footer here inside this i'll say it's something like footer.js footer.js so now inside the footer let's create our component here and save it and here i'll be covering everything inside a box because i want to pass some css inside this box so first of all let's import this box and use it also here now let's pass some css inside it so here i'll say the color or the background color of this should be something like tomato so background color and this should be tomato and also i'll give it some height so height of this should be like 200 pixel but you can use anything you want so like this if we save it now inside app.js let's just import this one and here i'll say footer so it should be imported for us now let's close this and save it and if i go back to browser we should see some footer also now the footer is here but as you see the footer is aligned all the way left here but i want this to be something centered here and that's why i'll be using the container for this so inside this footer i'll be using a container inside our box now here i'll import the container so from material ui it's imported so as we need a one dimensional grid here so i'll be using the stack from material ui like this and the direction of this of course should be row so let's give it some direction and we'll say it should be row and that's it for now and also i want to show our menu here so let's import this or copy this from our navbar so i'll go from navbar and here we need first of all this menu box so let's copy this and also we need these items here so let's copy everything from here and paste it just here like this and then after that let's bring our menus also here so i'll go back to nav bar, and from here i'll be using this map so let's bring everything from here copy this and i'll paste it just here now everything is here so if we save it we should see our menu there but we have to import of course some components here so typography we need and the second one is the styled here so let's import this also from material ui save it and if we go back we still got 
the typography problem but I have imported so let's do it again import this save now it's working so if we go way down you can see our menu items are here perfect so now let's change the color of this to white because black is not looking good there so inside this typography here I'll say the color of this should be something like white white and it will look better after this so here we also need some more text or you can give anything you want but I'll be using a box here with a flex of one because we are using the flex now so let's give this menu a flex of two not this but the menu here flex of two and our uh, copyright will be a flex of one like this and let's save this and if I go back you can see there's a beautiful text here and we got our menu and below this I want to show some text here so it will be also some typography so the footer is very easy you can design it yourself the way you want and if you're not familiar with this you can watch my last tutorial in which I have already created a footer so you can watch that also but for now I want to keep this as simple as I can so now below this let's put some text here so it will be a typography again variant of h4 align text center and a margin top of 8 and the color of this will be white also so let's save this and if you go back you can see there's a good message here perfect now everything is looking perfect for me and very beautiful so we got almost what we want to achieve and it is also completely responsive that's looking really great our cards are aligned the way we want our pagination is aligned the way we want and our footer also everything is looking beautiful we got our icon we can search and now so let's take care of one last thing which is the details page here so if we click somewhere it should route us to our details page for this i'll go back to vs code and here again we need another folder for this component so let me create a new folder and call this details page it will be like details page like this and also let's make the component and also say details page here dot js inside this of course we need our component like this so let's save it and then we have to take care of the route for this so for this i'll go back to app.js and before this let me close all these from here because too many of them are open and it make problems now like this now it's looking good so let's install the react router so I'll just cancel this and here I'll say npm install react and it should be router and DOM react router DOM so it will install the react router for us so we can use it so now it's installed so let's run our project again so I'll say npm start and it should open our browser like this and it's here so let's take care of the routes now for this i'll go back to our app.js and here i'll import our routes so the first thing here will be browser router so browser router which we import and the second thing we need is the routes and also we need route from react dom so react router dom i'll just import this here and after this we can use them now so the navbar will be still here because we need this in every page and also for the footer but the main and the hero i'll be using inside our route so let's see how to do this now the first thing will be our browser router so browser router 
and I'll use this one here and inside this and we can define our routes. So it will be routes or you can call this routes, whatever you call it. And inside these routes, we can define our other routes. So here I'll say the route for the first one, the path should be like home, it's a slash. So which element should it use? I'll say here the main. So let's copy this and paste it here. So now it will use the main as default like this. And let's close this and we need one more route. So let's just copy this one and paste it below here. So here I'll say if someone goes to details, then it should route them or it should send this to me inside this details page. So let's import our details page here. So like this. And guys, if you are not familiar with React Router or the routes of React, so don't worry. After this, in backend series, I'll show you how to use the React Router. So there will be a complete course of this and I'll teach you how to use the IDs, how to use the routes. So for now, I want to just demonstrate our details page. That's why I'm using a simple route here. With that being said, now let's remove the main from here. But as you see, we got a problem. Now the point is here, we got this hero and this hero is not inside our main.js. So this way it won't look the way we want. If we go back, you can see there's no hero anymore. And if we scroll down, the hero is way down here. And that's we want to avoid this. So that's why I'll import this hero inside our main.js. So let's go inside main.js and from here import that hero. So first of all, we have to cover everything inside React Fragment like this and cover it here. And after this, we can import our hero here. So I'll say hero and it will be imported. Now let's close this. And if we save it, we can go back. You can see our hero is there and everything is looking the way we want. Perfect. Now let's see how to navigate to this details page. Now, as we type here some details, you can see the details pages here. Now here we got the details icon because I made a mistake here and I imported details from material UI icons instead of uh, my details page. So let's use the details page here. So I'll say details page and let's import this one and remove this details from here. Also, we don't need this hero anymore here. So let's delete this also. I'll save it. And if we go back, you can see details pages here. So let's start designing our details page. So for the details page, I'll also use the container. So everything will be centered for us. Now like this, copy this one and paste it here. Now here inside this container, I want to show first of all my category. So let's import our category here like this and save it. And if we go back, you can see the category is here and it's looking much beautiful. Now below this, then we can show our text. So for the text, we, I'll be using as always some typographies. So let me copy some text and paste it here instead of wasting the time. So below this, I'll just paste it. So I got one typography variant of a tree because the big title and it's aligned center and I gave it a margin top of four. And also for this one, some more options. The first one is body two. So it will be a small or a description a text and also aligned center. And also it got a color of gray text because it will look much better. And also a padding from everywhere. Then the same way body one and center and also takes a margin from everywhere. Just like this. And if we save this and go back, you can see we haven't imported the typography here. So let's import this one also. 
like this and it should work now yes it is and as we go you can see a beautiful titles here we got some link here and there is a description of our uh, recipe now here below this let me put some image because it will look much better if we use lots of image inside our recipes so here i'll be needing a box again so let's import the box from material ui and i'll give it some sx so as i want to define or align my image center so i'll be using here also the display of flex and then justify the content center like this flex and let me do the justify content and it should be center like this and then we close our box inside this then i'll be using the card media from material ui so let's use this card media and now it says as a self-closing so let's close it and here we will need some props First of all, I'll give it some CSS here. So let's give it some height. And the height of this should be like 500 pixel. And a width of also 500 here. So 500 pixel like this. And we'll give this some props also here. So the component is of course an image. So I'll save an image here and then we what we need is our image of course so our image will be static so that's why i use the curly braces and also some alt and this will be also some burger or whatever food we are using so let's import an image for this one so instead of this react here i don't need this so we import the image so i'll say import burger from our static folder so i'll go inside the static folder and here i'll search for burger one dot jpeg and let's just copy this and paste it here now if we save it and go back to browser you can see beautiful aligned images here and after this i'll show some more description about this recipe and also we will show our ingredients below this so let's see how to do this now for this i'll paste here another typography so there's some more text here and a variant of body one and the alignment is center and also i'll give it a margin so it takes a margin from top and bottom left and right from everywhere and also the second typography will be our ingredients below which we will show a list and that we will show our ingredients like this so let's save it and as we go back you can see the ingredients is looking good and also the description so now everything is looking great here now the last thing we need is our list so here below this typography i'll be using the list from material ui now if you're not familiar with the list of material ui go to the website and here you can search for list and the list is here and you can see there are many designs which you can use for your projects but i'm using the simple way so it will be list item button and we'll get a list item text and also i'll be using a list item icon so let me show you how to do this now here i'll say list and it, it's imported so inside this list we will need the list item icon so we'll give some icon here so let's item icon like this now it's imported so let's close this one and inside this we can use our icon so let's find some icon for this so i'll go to material ui and here i'll search for icon so material UI icons and i'll be using some arrow here so let's see which one is good i'll use this double arrow so let's copy this import here and just paste it here and we'll be using this double arrow icon for our 
list item icons. So here, let's paste this one and close it. And below this, we need some text, of course. So let's use our text here. So it will be list item text, list item text, like this. It's imported now. And it's a self closing component. So here inside this, you can define a prop. And here you can paste your title. So the first one for me, for example, will be made. Now let's save this. And if we go back, now you can see the list is here, but still it's not looking good because it's not clickable and also it's not aligned centered. So let's see how to do this. Now for this, we need one more list component and it will be list item button let's item like button and it's imported now let's use this one also here now the closing tag should be at the end like this and save it and if you go back you can see we got something where we can click but still there's no gap between this icon and also this text so let's see what's the problem here now the problem we got here is that I put this list item text also inside this list item icon. So let's remove this from here and paste this outside of it like this. And if we go back, you can see there's a nice gap between them. It's also aligned centered. Perfect. Now here, instead of copy pasting them all the time, let me paste some data also. So it will be just the same list button item, list item icon, and there will be an icon inside it. And of course, list item text, where I have put some text here, just like this. And I'll save it. And if you go back, you can see everything is looking much better. And below this, we'll put also some typography, some more text about this, and also We'll use another typography for you may like this. So let me paste this data also. So here I'll paste some typography and again a body of one because the paragraph and it's aligned center and I give some margin from everywhere. And also we got another typography for you may also like. And here the variance H5 because it's a title also. The color will be white, the background black and also the alignment is center like this. And if we save it and go back to browser, you can see it's looking much better. So we got some description about this ingredients and also we got our title for you may also like. So it's now looking great. Everything is here what we need. Now let's take care of this suggestion. And after this, we are finished with this beautiful blog. So for designing the suggestions, let's go back to VS Code and here I'll create another component. So a new folder and it will be suggestions. So suggestions and also let's make this lowercase suggestions and also let's make the file of suggestions. So it will be suggestions.js. You can call it anything you want. And here I'll say RFCE. And inside this, we need almost everything from our category because those cards are the same thing what we need. So I'll go to category list. And from here, let me import or let me copy all this to our, you may like, or to our suggestions component. So let's copy this. And I'll paste them just here. And let's copy the rest also. So stack up to down here. We'll copy everything and paste it here, not here. Inside suggestions, yes, here. So here it will be pasted. But we got double of them, so let's remove it. And here we don't need too much card boxes. But instead of this, I think 
four or three will be enough and also we need some imports here of course so let's take everything from here just copy this and paste it inside suggestions here and the ones which we don't need are here let's save this and we can see everything now as you see we don't need them here so and also the container like this save it and if we go back and we can see anything because we haven't imported this to our details page so let's go on details page and import the suggestions here so i'll say suggestions and it's imported close it and if you go back you can see they are here now they are looking beautiful but i want to align them center and also the shape of these cards should be a square so let's see how to do this now i'll go back here and inside suggestions and here we have to make two changes and the first one is to remove this border radius so we get this square shape and also from here i'll say justify content of this should be center so justify content of the stack should be center and it should be is equal to like this and also here i'll say align item center so align items and this should be center save it and if we go back you can see they are square and also they are aligned center and they are looking great perfect but as you see we got some warnings here so let's solve them also so inside category.js we have imported container but we are not using it so here this one should be removed perfect now everything is looking green so we are almost done here but let me do some last thing and this is this link let's copy this one and use this inside our card.js so i'll go here inside post and inside postcard and we used a link here and we don't have any href so let's use this href for now save it and if we go back we should be able to click on this post and route to this details page yes it's working so it's looking also great and beautiful Thank you for watching my videos and I hope you enjoyed this tutorials. If there are any mistakes, if I'm too fast or anything, please let me know. And don't forget to subscribe my channel because many things are coming up and you will learn a lot from me here.